77. This is on consecutive odd and consecutive even integers. And then we're going to switch gears and do <coughs> fraction and decimal word problems. Okay. So remember from the last lesson, when we were talking about consecutive integers, um, the first one, second one, third one, fourth one, I don't remember how many we had. <laughs> the first one was n, the second one was n plus 1, n plus 2, and then n plus 3. Because when you have consecutive integers, it would be like 5, 5 plus 1 is 6, 5 plus 2 is 7, 5 plus 3 is 8. Consecutive means 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay? So, what we're talking about today is consecutive odd and consecutive even. So, for example, let's say if I was doing consecutive odds, then it would be 5, 7, 9, 11, right? So, what do you notice happens? Plus 2, plus, plus two. 2, plus 4, because n is 5. Yeah, plus 6. 5 plus 4 is 9, 5 plus 6, six is 11. So when you're doing odd numbers, then it has to be n, n plus 2, n plus 4, n plus 6. And it even helps you if you have this little standard down here. Okay, well let's see if we're doing even numbers. Okay, if my n was 2, then n plus 2 is 4, 2 plus 4 is 6, 2 plus 6 is 8, 2, 4, 6, 8. Consecutive even numbers. So this is the rule, so to speak, to follow when you're working with consecutive even or consecutive odd. Okay? You got it? Mm -hmm. Now, knowing that, listen to this. Find three consecutive even integers, mm -hmm. even, such that the sum of the first and the second equals the sum of the third and negative 10. Okay, so here's the problem. Find three consecutive even integers with the sum of the first and second. First and second. And they're wanting us to find the sum of that. So that's the sum of the first and second. Um, that the sum of the first and second equals, that was pretty easy, that just told us exactly what to do. The sum of the third and negative 10. And negative 10. Got it? Yep. That's how we would set it up. The sum of that and negative 10. Mm -hmm. All right. So now we just work it. We just do like normal. Okay? So I'm going to add my like terms. And it sometimes helps if you put a 1 with all the n's. So 1n one plus 1n one makes 2n. And I'm just going to bring down the 2 plus 2. We're done with that. And then I've got 1n. And then I'm going to add these like terms. 4 plus a negative 10 is a negative 6. Okay? And now I'm going to put the n's on one side and the numbers on the other. So 2n plus negative 1n, because it crossed the equals. And then let's bring the 2 over here and be negative 2 plus a negative 6. Okay? So 2n plus negative 1n makes a positive 1n. And then negative 2 plus negative 6 is negative 8. So n equals negative 8. Here, I feel like that's pretty easy. Yep. Okay. Now, why don't you pause it for a second. Thank you. 